in action. Hello guys, it's Jake here from Life Live Survival. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to make a paracord bracelet like we promised. We got these buckles here from this website right here. It's a good place. It's uh, www.gotbuckles.com. Good website there. Check it out. Um, give you 100 buckles for roughly $10 maybe. Um, well, we're going to start out um, with this. You want to get a length. You know, make make something like this, make a loop like this in your paracord like that, and put it around your wrist, and uh, measure the right size here. Leave a little bit of slack. Leave a little bit, because if you want the one with buckles, and we're going to use buckles today, um, the next video we're going to make, it's not going to be buckles, but you want to leave a little bit of slack for the buckles. So we're going to start out by getting some buckles out of here, real quick. Um... Um, you're going to want to grab one of the buckles and uh, thread it through both of the paracord hey. strands. We're going to put it through both the paracord strands here. And uh, you're going to leave, you're going to make sure they're even at the bottom too. You're going to want to make sure they're, they're even down here. And then you're going to want to put both of them through the top here. Make sure they're even through the whole thing. You don't want um, them to be lopsided because then that would be bad. Wouldn't look right. So you want them to be even through the whole thing here. Now you're going to... Oh, I'm going to put on a glove because um, I don't want to burn myself here. But I'd, you guys don't have to use gloves if you don't want to. I'm going to because I don't... you know. On a burnt hand, already been through that. Not fun. What we're going to do is we're going to melt these two ends together here. Hey, if you used a candle, it'd be easier because you only have to use. Oh, that's all right. Sure. That's all right. That'd be way easier. That's all right. Because you don't have to use one hand. That's all right. All right. Fire. So you're going to want to catch it on fire a little bit, stick them together, blow it out, and then start molding it with the gloves. If you want to use gloves, I don't care, you can, but I'm going to, I'm going to use gloves. It's really hot, so. Does I it mean, burn through the glove? It might burn through your gloves. You got, don't, I wouldn't use winter gloves because it's not a good move. Use rubber gloves, like this rubber, not like Dr. Rubber. The ones that um, stick up your, you know. Once it to get, once it's together like this. It will just take off your glove now, and um, well, I'm going to get it through there. Um, I'm going to use my knife. You got to get this buckle through here, and you're going to want to make sure that it's it's like this, because it would not work if it's upside down. Not work at all the buckle. And I'm going to make sure it's like this. Straight and set up evenly. So we're going to get this through here. Um, it'd be easier if you had something sharp to get it through. Thin, really. Yeah, sharp and... So you can poke it while you're going through. Make sure you don't stab yourself. Um, if you do stab yourself, not my problem here. Yeah, disclaimer, a warning. We are not liable for anything that you do to yourself to harm yourself. This is for educational purposes only. So you can burn yourself. You don't have to use a glove. I'm okay, just... while he's doing that, what you want to do is... You want to sell the ones with buckles for five dollars? 
around your if local, you are going to around sell. school or anything, you know, around town, whatever. Tell all the people that you sell them to. If somebody asks about it, tell them that you're selling. Tell them that you're the one that's selling them. But uh, you sell the ones with buckles for five dollars. The ones without buckles for three dollars, right? Three dollars. Yeah, that's what we do. And go on eBay and buy it. It's cheaper there. Amazon sucks. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, by the way, these buckles. Did you already talk about that? From. All right. We got these buckles. What was it? A hundred in a bag for like ten bucks from www.gotbuckles.com. Just remember that. They sell black, brown, od green, and white buckles. The paracord you can get from many different websites, but we usually get it from eBay. The only one we didn't get from eBay actually is this right here. It's hold on. It's called Patriotic Camo. And we got that from uh I forget the website. But yeah. If you want to go on different websites, just Google 550 Paracord for sale. Right. What he's doing now is burning these ins together. Again. Again, because... Messed up. Yeah. <laughs> smells terrible, by the way. Get used to it. So, I don't want to use one of these, but you don't have to. Alright. So, we're back here now. Um... Well, I got this on. Um, the easiest way to do this actually is before melting these together, put this in be on the strands first, then melt it together like it with on the strands. It'd be easier, a lot more convenient. Just do that and uh, you know pull it straight, and both of them should be aligned. Um, they're not. Just do some minor adjustments. Not too bad. Just uh, follow footsteps again, and uh, and uh, you will have a bracelet like this. Um, fits good. Everything. Make sure it fits around your wrist right now, because now would be the time to. In uh, it fits. Fits good there. Um, once you have it there, and fitting and everything. Move on to your cobra weave. Move on to the cobra weave, exactly. Okay. Well, so we're not gonna do the whole. He's when not you, gonna do the whole cobra weave. Well, he's only gonna do like five of the weaves. Start on this side. Okay. Um, you're gonna want roughly an arm span like this. Um. Uh, you want a little bit hanging off on the edge like that, and what you're going to do is, you know, even up the ends here and lay it out across the bracelet here, and what you're going to do from there is you're going to take any side you can start with, bring it here. It's under it. Start with the end under it, or the... I don't start that way. You can start any way you want. You can start whatever, the top or the whatever, bottom. Whatever, whatever. Um, I start this way. You can start any way you want, and just bring it on top of the bracelet here, and under, under like that. And then you can just pull it. You gotta make sure it's. You gotta make sure it's as tight as it, it can be. It'll uneven itself on this part. This is probably the hardest one to do. The first one. Just gotta straighten it because it's not attached to it. Pull it as tight as you can. You know, pull that out. Do whatever you need to. And um, that's probably the hardest, like he just said there. And then you're gonna see this little knot here. It's easier to see flipped over. You're gonna see this little knot on this side here. Does everybody see that? If um, see that little knot there? And then you're just gonna go on that side. See, I put the I put the cord over this side like this, go over the top here, and under everything. And then you're going to want to pull it tight. Just, just pull it as hard as you can. 
so you know that it's good. And um, just gonna pull it tight, and it's it's kind of looking like the cobra knot now. And then the knot's on this side now, so you're gonna want to go this side here, and you're gonna go on top like this and under everything. It's very simple once you get it down. Um, does not take long. It looks like it takes long. It takes nearly maybe 10 minutes just to make one of them. Not probably not even that. Which this video is already at like 10 minutes, but that's because it takes longer to explain everything. Takes longer to explain everything. Exactly. So I'm just going to do about two more knots here. So you're going to go over over here cuz the knots on this side so you're going to lay it this way. And then you're going to go under everything. Under everything like that. Very, very, very simple. Um, people think, well, it's complicated. It's not, it's not complicated. Very easy. Very, very easy. It may look complicated, but see, it's looking like the Cobra Knot now. Um, I'm going to do one more here, and we're going to have to... Sign off here. No, it's on this side. Start on that side. You're gonna lay it over the top go like over. that. Go under everything and pull tight. Cause you don't want it to be loose because it will slide around everywhere and you don't want that. This thing will slide up and down too much and you don't want that to happen. Quick story, there's this girl that my buddy over here, Jake, he doesn't really like her. So he made the bracelet as loose as he could.